Hey guys, Tonic here. Bethesda just released a surprise update to the Atomic Shop in Fallout 76, and it brought in a ton of new stuff. There is a new Fallout First outfit, a new bundle, a new shelter, and a new camp ally. And I just picked it all up, so let's go check it out. Alright, so first up, let's take a look at the brand new bundle. This is called the Brotherhood Initiate Bundle, and it's being sold for 2,000 atoms, and it comes with a few newer items and some older items. So starting off with the older stuff first, you will get the Brotherhood of Steel Guard Post. We have this one here. There's also one with stairs. And these came out a few months ago, but I think they do look pretty nice. And then moving on with the older items, you will also get this Brotherhood of Steel High Tech Stash Box, and this does have a pretty cool animation. And then lastly, you will also get the Brotherhood Standing Banner. And I'm pretty sure this was an old reward for the Cleaning Up Fort Atlas event that took place a while ago but still it is a pretty nice item. But moving on to the new building kit, this is called the Brotherhood Barracks building kit, and you get a few different pieces here. So we have some different half walls, we have your angled walls, we have this roof piece, a flat piece, a corner piece, and a standard piece. And we also have some windows, a doorway, and two different standard walls with a difference on the back. And I did build a little example here, and I really like it. I think the roof looks really nice. And you can also put wallpaper on these walls, but personally, I think it looks better without it. You'll also get this new Brotherhood display frame, and placing it down, it does require some power. And powering it up, it looks like these lights will turn on, and we can go ahead and put some power armor in there. Now, I think it does look pretty sweet, but it is really big for a power armor display. If we take a look at some of the others, they are much smaller, but again, I do like how it looks. And lastly, with this bundle, you will also get the new Flatland Shelter. And here's the entrance. And let's go ahead and take a look inside. All right, so we have loaded in and it's really bright over here. It looks like this is your entrance. And then here's the control panel. And this looks huge. So going into free cam mode, it looks like there is an invisible wall right behind this entrance. But going this way, we can go for a while. Then it looks like we hit a wall right here. So if I were to place this right on the edge, yeah, that is pretty far away. So you do have plenty of room in here to build. And it's really flat as well, so you could build a whole settlement or something in here. And this honestly might be my new favorite shelter. This is pretty awesome. And now for a quick height test. It looks like we can build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just about eight walls high. So again, you have plenty of room in here to build. Now that covers just about everything inside the new bundle, but there is still some more new stuff. So we also have this new free light ally called Del Lawson. So placing that down, I hope I didn't put it the wrong way. He should spawn in here in just a second. So there he is. And let's go ahead and talk to Del. Knight Errant, I, I didn't expect, I'm sorry. They didn't tell me you'd be out here. I'm here under orders from Knight Shin. Initiate Del Lawson at your service. I'm with the Brotherhood at Fort Atlas. I'm on assignment to set up a forward supply and maintenance operation. I was on the lookout for a good location and saw what you've built here. Now, Dell has a lot of dialogue, and I don't want to spoil everything for you, but you can trade with him. Everything. So he does have a little trading menu here. He just has some pretty basic stuff. But then on top of that, you can also ask him for a buff. And the buff is called Tuna, and it will say you can repair weapons, armor, and power armor to 130% of the normal maximum condition. So... He is a pretty useful ally. And lastly, if you're a Fallout First member, you can claim the West Coast Duster outfit and hat for free in the Atomic Shop. Also, as I was recording this, I saw this on the Bethesda website. If you're a Game Pass member, you can claim the Vault 33 Survival Kit. It has a Vault 33 backpack and some other consumables. And if you're not a Game Pass member, you can still get it. From 12 p.m. Eastern Time on April 12th until 2.59 p.m. Eastern Time on April 23rd, subscribe to any Fallout 76 Twitch streamer's channel and get the backpack for free. Just make sure your chosen streamer is streaming Fallout 76 on Twitch at the same time that you subscribe. So it's a little weird, but it looks like everyone can get it, and I think I'll have to do that Twitch method. But overall, I think this was a pretty cool Atomic Shop update. The new bundle is awesome. I really like the new building kit and that power armor display. The shelter is super cool. That might be my new favorite shelter. I love how bright it is, and you have so much room to build. And lastly, that new ally and outfit are pretty cool. But that is pretty much going to be it for this one, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. 
Nazader, Joe Pervin, Sente, Fallout McFly, Evil Men 1979, Brad Khan, Bad with Salt, Ed Vale, Ubi Ubi, Terry Lockridge, Ice Cream Manny, Jay's the Aussie, I am Mr. Me, Not You, Dr. Calamari, Argent Deer, Shaky Hands Workshop, Leo the Collector Plays, Loopy, Adam Steins, and Robert Kennard, CRM 114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Anna S., Gold T, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 20th Ice Fire, Bowser Double Frank, Christy Mellon, Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.